What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up on Man, oh man, oh man. This acolyte Star Wars situation is is absolutely insane. God damn. I'm, I'm, I am lost for words. This is like the culture war bubbling up to something that can no longer be like corralled. You know what I'm saying? And I got to be honest, I'm about to bust. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> so before we get into it, guys, we got to pay the bills. The squabble shop is open, okay? If you're a squabbler and you want to you wanna be a member of the squabblers, go ahead and cop you some of this gear. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get you some of this uh this squabble shop. You know what I'm saying? You want to be a member of the squabble, you got to learn how to squabble. But you can get 25% off for the next two weeks. Um, but uh, other than that, we do a live show every Friday. Um, and you know, make sure you there interact with your boy, and you know, make it do what it do. Anyway, uh, so let's get back to it, okay? Let's get back to it. Where was we? Where was we? Okay. Disney's The Acolyte has the has a lower Rotten Tomato score than the worst show in TV history, the Star Wars Holiday Special. Okay. It's getting insane. It's getting insane. People are being attacked. People are claiming they're getting death threats. Others are attacking others. There are people who were, uh, uh, um, you know, originally for star wars and trying to defend it at every corner have switched sides it's just it's just a complete nightmare right now okay no, none more than look at this get this ad out the way man look at this polygon yes guys this is polygon calling out disney tv writers for lucasfilm please stop being weird about pronouns what yeah! <laughs> they squabbling. They squabbling. Out there, yeah! <laughs> they squabbling out there, y'all. <laughs> they squabbling. In the fourth episode of the Acolyte, Osha meets some new Jedi and Jedi affiliate friends. One of them is a small otter like creature named Basil. Basil and Pip, Osha's fussy robot companion, keep sniffing and beeping at each other, interrupting the mission briefing Osha is trying to follow after Osha approaches Jedi Lon. For an awkward exchange all too familiar to queer people watching television in the last few years. Osha, who is that? Jackie, that's Basil. Is he dramatic pause or are they with us? You can't make this shit up. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up. This is what happens when you're pandering. And I think they say that in this. In this. This is the latest example of what I'm going to call the globby problem expertly par uh, parodied on the other two well-meaning writers and showrunners showrunners some of them queer themselves trying to awkwardly insert non-binary or gender queer representation into the, the their show into their show usually through the show's requisite weirdo character the result inst is instead often pretty othering in the acolyte osha, uh, osha only asked about basil's pronouns not those of any other people she meets. This reveals more about Osha than I think the acolyte writers were intending. The exchange implies she is actively othering Basil and assuming he, yes, it is later revealed Basil uses he, him pronouns, which uh, makes all of this even sillier. Must be a gender, uh, must be gender variant because he looks odd to her. And I think uh, somewhere in the uh, article, they, off, they, they refer to this being pandering. And this is this is that's the dilemma that they're facing with this pronoun stuff, because if you're going to ask one character, if you're going to, you know, be perplexed about one character's pronouns, why not the rest of them then? Right. That certainly implies that you're assuming that other character is some type of weirdo character. <laughs> I'm just saying. God, <laughs> But you know what? This is what y'all wanted, queer people. Congratulations. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, 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 you can't make this shit up. <laughs> but anyway, we got more important matters to address. Because guys. Guys, guys, guys. Where is it? Guys, have y'all seen this, man? Lord have mercy. This is a doozy. So y'all know Amanda Lestan, uh, Stan, Amanda Lestenberg, I'm sorry decided that she wanted to own the races decided to drop a music video i have no words to describe this you just got to hear it for yourself so uh <laughs> i'm just gonna play it here we go God, 
Like, like, we're looking at this. <laughs> we're looking at you do this, and we're like, are we supposed to be intimidated? <laughs> what in the hell? Lord have mercy. What is this? <laughs> what are we What are we doing here? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, we so bored. Don't fuck with your discourse. Okay, well tell that to the millions of people that's not watching your show. Okay? Let's start it so <laughs> Okay, first of all, I gotta give credit where it's due. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, if it wasn't for this insane, insane mindset of hers. I mean, she is a pretty girl. Let me suck them titties, babe. But let's keep going. I'm going viral on Twitter again. Open up the news. Find some interesting things. Put on my news. I'm a deal from 2018. But Trevor the King, when I was a teen, I was running from city to city to speak on the story. You know the one. Oh, he's running like a black boy. Yeah, my people cried in the theaters. Find it releasing. My people cried they could see us as human beings. Trevor asked what I want the people to know. I said, white people cry, what's the goal? If they could take one thing, what would it be? I say empathy. Oh, that's why they mad at me. Oh, boy. What? <laughs> Lord have mercy. First of all, let me go ahead and screenshot that. That will be in the thumbnail. <laughs> I get, 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 get. Oh shit! Here we go again. Y'all, this is this ain't this ain't it, y'all. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. <laughs> like I can't believe you made this and and said to yourself, "Oh yeah, this is it. This is it." Let's keep going. They splice lines, make hate, they recognize, make it look like the same propaganda they spew. Cause they come from our pain with violence and try to weaponize everything that we do. The desperation of the presses is rising and now they holding on to any old thing they can use. If you rely upon misinformation, and that tells me you're afraid of the truth. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this shit is so bad. Hold on, run it back. Run it back. Look at her dance again. What the fuck? Nah. 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 Nah, I'm sorry. Nah. Nah. And I, and I dare, I dare black people to try to act like this is a hit. I dare you. I dare you to pretend like you you'll play this shit in the car. This is embarrassing, guys. This is embarrassing. I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's address some of the things that she said in this song. Um, uh, she's saying that that interview with Trevor King was misinformation because 
uh, it's being equated to the Star Wars thing. Um, are, were there people that was trying to equate this to Star Wars? Maybe. Uh, I thought it was just an old clip that was being brought up. Um, it's obvious that she was a little bit younger in that clip. Um, but it's, you're not going to sit up here and tell me that you wasn't purposely trying to antagonize white people. You, you, so do you really think, and, and this is a genuine question. Like, I, I don't know. I might be stupid. Be stupid. Do you, do you seriously think antagonizing white people is going to make them see you as humans more? You think that's a thing? Like, do you do you think going to white people and saying, yeah, my intention was to make you cry because you're bigots, you're racist, and you deserve it, it's going to make them not hate you? Assuming that they hate you. I mean, maybe I should just go back to minding my business. You know what I'm saying? Because that's insane. That's absolutely insane. Um, the show is trash, okay? We so bored. We don't fuck with your discourse. Um, this is insane, though. I, 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 I can't. I, I just, I don't know. I don't have any words. Okay. I just. This is a. We sickness. have told you, don't do it. Don't do it. You have gone and done it anyways. <laughs> you are going to pay. Yeah? You have come to understand that the very behavior I mean, like you are engaging in, it is a sickness. It's a sickness is deviant therefore we do not want it do not partake in this ever again it's a sickness it's a sickness i was... but i guess this might be what disney wanted you know discourse around this show i can tell you this right now i've been in conversation with a few black women and i asked them straight up do y'all care about star wars you know what the answer was Hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. So you can say whatever you want. You can try to rally the Juneteenth troops all you want to. They're not coming to save you, nor this show. Ain't nobody watching it. So, uh, I mean, better learn how to squabble. Teach a man how to squabble. Okay. Um, Get that trigger next time, and nigga. And you said we got 72 hours to respond. Girl. Do not, do not, please do not test me because I will get in the booth. With all your bitches, get back in the kitchen. I'm hungry. Don't test me, bitch. Don't test me, bitch. Don't test me, bitch. Do not test me, bitch. Uh. I will use my fist. Uh. I will smack your lip. Uh. I will bust your shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you.